Well, hello and welcome back. Thank you for coming back. Today, we're gonna to take you for a little wiggle and a waggle around the Ayanapa area. But unfortunately, I haven't got a driver because the girl in charge of the ship, who just happens to be the most beautiful woman in the world, is monkeying around outside. That's Miss Ochin, Gracilia Labu. And if you damage that car, Labouf, I'll be taking it out of your wages. Here she comes. The naughtiest monkey in downtown Ayanapa today. Hello, everybody. I said, how nice to see you again and again. But you couldn't hear me. And again, right? We're in downtown Ayanapa and uh, we're going to go for a wiggle and a waggle around. I've got someone phoning me. Normally I wouldn't answer it, but I understand that this person phoning me is the man who's going to rent us some scooters. Somebody's phoning me. But it's actually not phoning me, it's phoning Graciela Labouf. Who's that Graciela Labouf? It's, it's a Georgia. Right. What's going on? Answer the phone and tell them you're phoning Hello. back. Hello? Hello? There we are. Hello. Hello. What's going on? What's going on? Suspense. Right. Come it's on, Miss Evie Agent is calling me. Let's go. It's Off we go. It's an agent. Zero Pop zero your sunglasses on. You know, it's an agent. Zero, zero, seven. Right. With a Georgian accent. But nobody talked, but it was Georgian oh, telephone. Right. Okay. Anyways. Anyways, we're in downtown Ayanapa, I was telling the people. And if you damage my car, I'll be taking the money out of your wages. I know the man who is fixing the car. Yes, but you gotta pay him. That's the problem. Um hmm. there's no problem. No problem. Right. Just the seat receiving the booth. Here we go. We're off. And we're in downtown Ayanapa. Here we go. This is Nessie Avenue, if you're curious to know the street name, which means it's got a very, very famous beach just over yonder to the right. And we'll be doing that in another video. So don't forget to come back and watch us stroll across Nessie Beach. Nessie. Nessie Beach. Nessie. Nessie Beach. Nessie Beach. There we are. Mr. In downtown is be angry. Ayanapa. He is, you never you? know. He is. <laughs> the pronunciation is certainly a little bit Sherlock Holmes. But anyway, we'll be on Nessie Beach tomorrow, probably walking along, getting that little bit of sunshine. And if you're curious to understand what time of year it is, by the way, well, it's the new theme of the channel. It's December. Temperature outside, 24 degrees. The sun is beaming down. It's beaming across the blue, blue Mediterranean Sea, and it's a kissing and a lapping downtown Ayanapa, that's for sure. There we are, there's a sign just over there that says, welcome to Ayanapa. This is Nessie Beach. Resort just over there, which means that this is Nessie Avenue. So stick with us. As you can see, most of the restaurants and bars are closed, because as I said, we are in December, remember. But there are one or two open, and a few more open even in the evening. The reason for the visit down to Ayanapa in this time of year is to show you what's actually going on. There's tourists over there, there's a British man with his shirt off. Everywhere you go in the world, you're always gonna find a British with a shirt off because we come from, wow, tougher stock. We come from that colder climate. So the moment we see that sun, off comes the shirt and we like to go for a wiggle and a waggle around. We'll see you in a bit. You know, uh, these streets are so clean and well organized and the people walking around these streets uh, should be very very happy because only this authentic or old greek tavern costs a lot true yeah the streets in ayanapa there is no doubt about it are absolutely spotless especially when you bear in mind the time of year that we're in because they do get the odd shower of rain the odd evening or so there's an erratic driver that seems to think that we're going too slow but there we are we're in a built-up pedestrian area so we'll stick to the speed limit i was going to show him the middle finger but i decided not <laughs> decided we're a family channel so yeah. that you won't that's the tassia maris beach hotel over there on the uh, right hand side again that's a beachfront hotel because if you understand on nessie avenue everything to the right hand side of us now is beach 
and everything to the left hand side is Uptown Ayanapa, shall we say. Supermarkets, Bank of Cyprus coming up on the left hand side and plenty of restaurants and tavernas, gift shops, boutiques for watching Gusevi La Bouffe. But luckily for me, they're closed because we are out of season. But if you look carefully, you will notice that there are the odd exchange place open, the odd pharmacy, which is that one there on the left hand side, that's open, that hair salon is open. There's a phone accessory shop open, there's a gift shop over there. There's a supermarket that's open. Clothes shop is Clothes open. shop was open as well, was it, Grisivi? Yeah. Well, keep driving then. There's a strip club here. That's the Toga Toga Strip Club down there. I'll let you go. Next door night. to the Village Taverna. So one of these nights, Grisivi La Booth is going to give me five euros and I'll go and get a lap <laughs> dancer of my maybe choice. Maybe five cents. <laughs> five cents, maybe. Five cents. There we are. So you can do a lot with it. You've got Euro car there. If you want to rent a car. And as you can see, we are rapidly now approaching the center of Ayanapa, which we call the Strip. So stick with us as we're going to go up the Strip and wiggle back round and then come back down towards the harbour. Or at least that's the plan, unless we get lost. That's the Robinson's Food and Grill to the left hand side there. You've got the Polo Shop just over there. You've got the Fredija Hotel and Resort on our right hand side now. You've got the Abacus Suites situated above these shops. Now I spotted that on the internet, they do look like very, very nice rooms indeed. So I think next time we may book ourselves into one of those. And there's a massive gift shop and we had a coffee in that shop as well and the coffee was very, very nice indeed. You've got the Panda Chinese Restaurant Sushi Bar just over there on the right hand side. You've got the Demidici, which is an Italian themed restaurant. Levanti Grill and Steakhouse, plus supermarket. The Olive Tree Restaurant. Blue Lagoon Souvenir Gift Shop. You've got a Glint Fashion Shop, closed down unfortunately for the season. You've got a shoe shop. That Easy cow. Rider Tattoos. That What's that? Cows. <laughs> the cows on the top. The cows on top, yeah. was there? You've got the Red Rock Cafe just over there. You've got a Giras Takeaway. You've got another pharmacy. There's a Robin Hood shooting range just Robin over there. Good. Robin Good, yes. So as you can see, as we get closer and closer to the center, well, there obviously is more and more open because there's still quite a lot of people about, including myself, Mr. Paul, and of course, the Sunshine Do you know, Mr. Paul, when we were here last time, on Saturdays and Sundays, many shops, maybe all of the shops were open and now you can just count on your fingers the open shops amount. Yeah. We're well, deep in the winter season, the Sochin Crucible Booth. There's still people about and we've spotted quite a few tourists about when we're walking around the harbour. And we know they're tourists because they're walking around in shorts and often they've got their tops off. So they're not locals, that's for sure. Uh, this one over here is the Seasons Hotel and that's their front of house, that's their restaurant there. So we are gonna take a right, a left, because it would be. So we'll go left, yeah, we'll go left. So we're now joining the Ayanapa Strip, as it's known. And we're about, well, a quarter of the way, should we say. So this is the main drag now. And as you can see, a lot of these places are still open because of course this is the area which is most often frequented, especially on a Friday and a Saturday night. And if you're curious to know what day it is, well, it's early morning on a Saturday and we're told that tonight something special is gonna happen in the harbor. And we hope it does and we hope we can capture it on film. So the left hand side now is the Central Cafe and the Pepper Restaurant. And of course that's part of the Ayanapa Plaza Hotel, which is situated just behind it. So if you're looking for a four-star luxury hotel in downtown Ayanapa, that's the Ayanapa sign. And that's where they have the medieval fairs. And then to the rear of that is the medieval castle. What a beautiful roundabout. Yep. Plenty of boxes for the present. So let's go around it, you see the booth? Yeah. And then back down. There's the lobby cafe bar. It's a beautiful street. It is a nice street, yeah. And you've got a spectacular drop in the view as you come back. And if you look very, very yonder, you can see the Cyprus Casino letters written across a big white building. And then in the gap there, you can just see the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. 
there's another scooter parked up. That you can rent, I believe? They're renting scooters, yeah, that's right. So you get an app, you download the app, and then it tells you where those scooters are, and then you can pay them, obviously, via the app, and then collect your scooter, and then you drop it back off and notify them where you've left it. That's how that works. But we're a bit old-fashioned, so we are going to go to a shop and physically hand the man some cash and take the scooters. Much, much easier for us. Keep going, Chrissy Blue Booth. Because this is the road down to the harbour area, and at the main entrance to the harbour is a roundabout, which we're going to circle round and come back up this part of the strip that you didn't see at the start of the video. And I promise you, when you come here at the start of the season, this place is absolutely buzzing. That's Costas the Greek, a very, very nice traditional taverna over there on the right-hand side. Next door to that, you've got Maga Whammers. Next door to that one, you've got the Tex-Mex, which is known as the Dalton's Restaurant. You've got the Privia Restaurant on our left-hand side. You've got the Best Value Supermarket, again, on our left-hand side. There's the front facade of the Cypress Casino. You've got it's the Vanilla Essence Crescent. Same in Paphos. Same in Paphos, island-wide, yeah. And then just over there on the right-hand side, now you've got the Faris Hotel. And then in front of that, you've got a coffee shop, which is familiar to most people, and that is Costa Coffee, international brand. Started in the UK, and it's pretty much gone global now. A big gift shop over here, when the back of this gift land shop is a big supermarket. Let's loop around the supermarket, right around the uh, roundabout, and go back up. So that's the main entrance to the harbour. So that's where we're going to be filming again tonight. And we're going to go back up this part of the strip. And then the traffic lights in a couple of hundred metres, we are going to take a left. And we're going to head out to the scooter hiring shop. So there it is. Cypress Casino's on our left. Best value across the road, supermarket. On the right hand side is an ATM. And it's bar after bar, restaurant after restaurant, gift shop after gift shop, and then nestled amongst all those are other businesses doing hire cars, trips, and of course some of the shops that sell in some of the things that the searching receive you the booth likes. In other words, boutiques. And if you go hunting in a previous video, you can find Otching Receiver Booth getting eaten alive there in Aqua Trails, which is a little shop which has little fish that eat your feet. We're going to go left, Receiver yeah. Booth. Yeah. Receiver Booth has spotted a shop that's open with a Black Friday sale on. And that's the farmers there, just over there. That's another traditional Taverna. And that one appears to be open. Yeah. And there's the Gloria Jeans Coffee Shop just over on the left hand side. And they do a very nice breakfast because I was coming past there last night and the picture which I can see now stuck onto the glass facade outside, it does look like a really, really nice breakfast. One of these days you're going to pop in and sample it. One of these days. We don't have many days to stay here, Mr. No, nope, we don't have enough time left. in a day, do we? Left, we're going to go left, Chris, yeah. If you look carefully now, you can see there's some pancakes next to it, and there's two big eggs and mushrooms and all sorts. And there's another picture over there. We've got to try that breakfast tomorrow. We have got to. That's McDonald's, there's the Golden Arches. And again, coming up on the left hand side is the Seasons Hotel and Resort. Closed down for the season, but of course, it will reopen again for the spring season in around about March. Give the road surface. Unfortunately, it's a little bit Sherlock Holmes. There's a jewelry shop over there. You can see the booth. Yeah, it's probably closed. No, Don't it's worry. open. Is it? Keep going. So we have to run. Yeah, keep going. And there's a fashion shop. That one's open as well. Oh. Yeah, keep going. And there's another Othello's restaurant there. Uh -huh. Just over on the right hand side. Unfortunately, it's closed. You've got uh, Sophia Bakery. It's another strip club over there. XO Strip Club. We'll have to pop in and have a look. Man. That's the Bedrock That's very Cafe nice, isn't again. It? Yeah. That one. Something unique and special, isn't it? You just walk into the open mouth with a teeth. Yeah. It's sort of set in, and there's Moo Moo, there we are, with the cows on top. 
So there's quite a few themed restaurants and bars in downtown Ayanapa. There's something for everyone, shall we say. There's something for the young at heart, and there's something for the old at heart. And there's something for everyone's palate. You've got Chinese, sushi, traditional, Italian, and there's Gary's Bar and Grill there. So that's obviously serving traditional British grub. And as you can see, slowly as we leave the centre, it starts to close up more and more. Although those two fashion shops there, can see you, they're open. Oh. <laughs> We're going that away. Unfortunately, but I'll find the job because I like everything in the vitrine. It was a nice vitrine. We'll have a look on the way back. We'll be on scooters in a bit, so we'll have a look. You never know. By the way, Mr. Paul, where did you find the Georgian restaurant, you said? The Which Georgian way? restaurant, if I remember, keep going, I think it was tucked down one of these alleys. If I spot it, I'll shout it out. There's an Asian fusion restaurant, and that's open, because that was open when we came past last night. Yeah. Again, over here, you've got a complex of apartments for holidays. And there's one or two occupied, by the way. Yeah. And again, they were in their underwear, should we say, up and down underwear. So they're obviously tourists. Now I think the Georgian restaurant was down there to the right hand side. There's the jungle mania. Mm -hmm. Where should I turn? No, keep going. Jungle right. mania. Jungle oh, mania. Nice. Again, another themed restaurant. There's the yoga toga strip club sign for the men in the world who perhaps want to go and watch a lap dance or something like that. Don't know what one of those is, but never mind. If I can get five euros off watching Receive La Booth, I'll go and have a look. <laughs> is it only for men or the woman? Well, <laughs> I suppose a woman can go, but just uh, it would seem a bit unusual. Anyway, never mind. Less of that now. We're a family channel. Let's keep going. As you can see now, there's more and more apartment complexes that you're spotting set back. And of course, on the left hand side, there's a lot of beach hotels because just in front of these buildings on the left hand side is, of course, the Ayanapa beachfront. It's where you get to sit and absorb the beauty and the spectacality of the area, digest the views and get yourself that little bit of a suntan, shall we say. Tassia Maris Beach Hotel and Spa. I believe that's a four-star luxury hotel. That's a Timis, that's a man's boutique. That's Timis, yeah. I'll we'll have to pop in there and see if I can get a blue t-shirt. they've got uh, four women also. Oh, there we are. I thought you'd know that. So hopefully you've enjoyed your little trip around Iron Apple with us as it's closed. But to be honest, sometimes you learn a lot more when you're driving around when it's not busy because of course you can now focus your attention on various shops, restaurants, little side alleys and you get to notice the hotel names. Here's another themed restaurant called the Mangas Restaurant. Looks like a traditional Cypriot Greek restaurant, yeah. Do you know what Mangas means? What does it mean? It, it means bit? like a macho man. A man macho who man. Everything. Well, there we are. <laughs> there we are. So apt. <laughs> yeah. It's like a slang yes, word. Yes, I understand. Yeah. But there's plenty of nice restaurants along this stretch, that's for sure. Well, I say, when you look around at this time of year, you do get to absorb more. I mean, look at that place there now, because all the trees have been cut back. That's the Nessie Blue Hotel and Resort. And it looks absolutely spectacular. And of course, just out yonder, beyond that blue, blue sky, is the blue, blue Mediterranean Sea. So anyone gonna stay in that hotel is gonna have a fantastic time, that's for sure. Right across the road there is the Gardens Restaurant. That looks like a very nice restaurant, to be yeah. honest. Something special about it. Yeah. And then over there is the Napa Sol Holiday Resort. So let's keep going a little bit, Christina Booth. Because very shortly we're going to come to the area that is actually Nessie Beach. Nessie. Nessie. I've renamed it. Godfather. That's it. Godfather. So that's the Adams Beach Hotel, and that's a spectacular hotel and resort that is situated right on the Nessie Beach. So feast your eyes and digest 
This is the Nessie Beach Resort to the left hand side. Adams Beach Hotel just yonder, which means we have arrived at the area that is known as the Nessie Beach. If you take a left down there, you go into the car park for Nessie Beach. So it's come time for us to say thanks for watching. And if you like what you see, hit the like, click subscribe. And please come back for a little bit more of our madness. Chrissy. And I would like to tell you that I'm enjoying my drive and I'm enjoying taking you all for a drive with us. I would like to tell you many, many thanks for watching. And please don't forget to come and see another of our madnesses. And I would happily turn there because otherwise I think that I'm going to the highway. And as you know, I hate the highways. Many kisses and bye-bye. Thanks for watching.